Here we have a rational expression, 2p plus 6 all over the quadratic expression here, p squared plus p minus 6. We want to simplify this as much as possible. What we want to do then is factorize this, and then hopefully we can factorize it in such a way that we can cancel something from the numerator and the denominator. Quite a common technique. Let's start by factorizing the numerator, actually. We can pull a 2 out of both uh, the 2p and the 6. So then we just have p plus 3 all over. Now we can factorize the denominator. So we know we're going to have a p and a p. We have a minus 6 here, so we need to have 1 plus and 1 minus so that when we multiply these two terms, we get a minus here. So we need to factorize 6. 6 times 1 and 3 and 2. So we know that the difference here is going to be 1, so we have to pick numbers that are different by 1. So not this, but this. Great. 3 and 2. Now the question is which one's positive and which one's negative. This cross term is positive, so the bigger number has to be the positive one. Great. As we predicted, we see two things that are the same, two factors or two quantities that are the same, so we can cancel this with this at the same time. So therefore, we immediately get to 2 divided by p minus 2. So our final answer is simplified to just this, 2 divided by quantity p minus 2. The only thing of note is to remember, you have to be careful with excluded values here. So in other words, we're dividing by a variable plus or minus something else, right? So we need to look at this and see, is this ever going to be undefined? This is going to be undefined when the denominator is equal to 0. When is p minus 2 equal to 0? Well, it's when p is equal to 2. So this is true if p does not equal 2. And we have to have that caveat along with this final answer. And that's it.